Hi architecture lovers, in this video we will do a quick rendering and modify it in Photoshop. We have a simple house here, this is a one story house in a local village. From the outside it looks quite ordinary as well. Just a wooden construction with a siding and a some uh, decorative wooden features in front. Let's load our view already which we created, this one, which is uh, for the house and uh, how it looks from the outside. And of course we will just uh, correct these features because I want them to be as they are on the side. So I will simply exclude these and exclude this one. And I want a fence as well on this side. We just continue drawing this until it finishes somewhere around here. Right. Let's see, yes, that's it. That's the fence. And now let's uh, render this. Just clicking F F10 and uh, it will start rendering. So we render this. So this is the rendering done. Now we save this as an image. Save as and we save it. That's it, and we load it in uh, Photoshop. File, open. This is it. And now we do several simple procedures. First we duplicate this layer, and we hide the background layer, which will be our copy in, in case something uh, bad happens. We delete the background from here. And uh, I will transfer the grass into other layer because I want it to be black and white and with lower contrast. I will make this layer be a cut and uh, the other layer as well in the background. Just make sure that we select just the grass. That there we are not uh, this, but this there. There we are cut. We merge these layers and we rename it grass. This we rename it rendering. And this is uh, I won't uh, rename it for now. Now for the grass layer, I will. Add hue and saturation and reduce the saturation and increase the lightness. Right, and also I will add a contrast, which will I will reduce the contrast a little bit and increase the brightness. Right, and I will merge these layers. That's it, that's our grass uh, done with. Uh, the options and I will also, for, I forgot this one, of course, this is also grass and I will select it now. Don't do it from far but just zoom in and uh, make it more precise. Right, and we make it a cut from this layer, merging these layers, and now affecting these. 
I merge all of these layers by clicking Ctrl plus E. Now the background. I will load an image for the background. Here is our background image. I will unlock it by double clicking on it and uh, I will paste it here. Let's move it in the back like this and now I will change it a little bit. this tree like this yes that looks very good and let's decrease it like this yes that looks good I will save it as a background image and now I will again reduce the contrast of it. I will add uh, saturation and increase it like this. Now we will add uh, trees in the front. I will again load an image. And let's say we want this tree and this tree. We'll see what uh, looks best. Let's delete the ba the background, which in this case is black, right? And we move it here. I will want only I want only part of the tree to be visible, not the whole tree. So something like this is correct. I will call it 3 1. And uh, let's see some other tree, this one or this one. I would prefer this one. Let's again, I'll double click to delete the background. Right, and uh, let's move it somewhere around here. And I will not uh, reduce the saturation of these trees because they are actually as a foreground. That's it. And now I will add uh, several people in front. Let's see, I will add these people with the dock. And let's place them in front of the house. Let's call them people and change their size, of course. Let's say that this is big enough. Just making sure that they don't hide anything important behind them. Right, that looks good. And let's uh, call this grass. And the people will be, of course, in front of the grass. And uh, now I will add shadow. I will duplicate this there, Control plus G. I will call this people shadow. The people layer will be with uh, hue and saturation as well. Interesting. Interesting. That is because this layer is the shadow. So before adding, before duplicating the layer, I will just uh, de uh, delete the colors by reducing the saturation like this completely, merging these layers. And now I will duplicate it. This one will be the duplicate, and the upper one will be people and the lower one will be people shadow 
right and we now focus on the people shadow layer we will add uh, color overlay and make it transparent and uh, some kind of uh, black okay and let's uh, move it a little bit and change its size now I'm looking at this shadow so the Sun is coming from behind us and in that direction I will make sure that Control plus click on a point that I change the projection and make sure that everything is behind the person it is referring to. Right. Yes, this seems plausible. Right. This seems good. Let's uh, just uh, Add a transparency to this layer, a 50 transparency on the whole layer, and uh, the cover overlay in this case will be with no transparency because I want it, the layer to be completely black, like it is. And that's it, that's it. It seems uh, completely fine. I will just increase a little bit the size of the people. Like this. Or I'm, I'm sure that uh, this is acceptable as they are on, on size. And now I will reduce a little bit the the colors of the trees. I will add again hue and saturation and reduce it a little bit, increase the lightness, and uh, merge these layers and I will call them trees and that's it that's how to quickly I, I even can turn some transparency on the trees layer like 50 to see what happens but I would prefer it without transparency they're, they're good enough with much detail and that is the image with uh, some modification now we go to file save as and we save it so after saving it, now we can go to the Archicad project and of course see how it fits in the layout. And we simply go to this one and you see after it updates that it will fit very nicely to our layout. And we of course can move it a little bit or change the composition. We can move this like 3 centimeters. Uh, three millimeters this one so and make it like this to see a little bit more of the trees and that's it that's how to quickly make a rendering that uh, is uh, very uh, aesthetical looking and uh, easy to do and uh, thanks for watching it is Nico Wale from Adisoft signing off and wishing you inspiration in your architectural practice see you in the next video